So just to give you a background of my work as an author, here's some of the books that I've written over the past few years. So this is my first book. It's called The ABCs of Hand Lettering. So if you're going to notice later on, my books all have either A, B, C, A to Z, anything alphabet related because it's derived from my name ABC. So ABC. Please laugh. <laughs> but mostly also because I do hand lettering. So that's the focal point of my work. This one is my first baby. So it has a lot of examples and ideas on how to do lettering. And it's one of the things that I'm really proud of because this one has been, re been re reprinted for six times in the Philippines. So that's like 60,000 copies sold. So that's really a big deal here. And the second book that I created is... Also with the ABCs, the ABCs of journaling. Um, I've I've been in, into journaling for quite a long time since I was a kid. So this book sort of like breaks down the basics of what documenting is. I'm going to show you this box of postcards that I also did. It's also ABC letters from ABC, 52 postcards from A to Z. And recently I uh, got to work with a US publisher in creating this book. It's called Hand Lettering A to Z. Lol, they're all alphabets. And this one is basically a peek into how you can design your own alphabets and it's more based on fonts. And fun fact, every this is the original copy of my book, meaning it's my copy. So every time I have my own copy, I write a really long dedication. Dear self, this time last year you were just submitting the first pass for this book. Look at it now, all published and finally out in the world. There. So, I, I, I really like doing a lot of this pep talk because someday when I look back on it and remember how, how I was back then, it sort of gives me a good reminder of how things have transpired. So, in general, being an author is really a fun job, but also gets pretty lonely because I work alone here, so I can spend so many hours working here and just typing away, writing, drawing, and basically making all of this mess. So I'm going to show you some of the compartments here. These are my two drawers, main drawers. So this one is my journaling drawer, I would say, packing drawer, random things, um, clips, pens, tapes. I like packing a lot of my gifts. And yeah, washi tapes and random stuff, they're all here. And the other side is where I store my paints and art materials. So I have gouache paint, I have watercolors. I don't have a lot of art materials and it's not because I don't... I just don't like buying a lot. I have specific brands that I always consult and use. Like for watercolor, I have this brand, this brand, and usually I settle for artist grade only because my work is already professional. I'm a professional artist and yeah, I have palettes journals, pens, basically anything that requires drawing, they're all here. Fun fact, I drink tea in the afternoon, but every morning I, I drink drip coffee. I try to segregate my art tools properly. I try because sometimes I just stick everything and forget. So this one is my brush holder. I have a lot of brushes. Some of my favorites, usually I keep forgetting to pinpoint them. Some of my favorites are this one. And I have also a, yeah, this one is a very nice one I got from Taiwan. And this one I've been using for quite some time now. I also have pencil cases, which is funny because the other one is labeled Bujo pens and tools. So these are for bullet journaling. I also have a dedicated drawing pen holder, which is ironic because there are brushes here. So these are some of the fine liner pens that I use. Um, I mostly use Faber Castell, so as you can see here. And of course, I have a pencil holder. Oh, by the way, this is one of my favorite brushes as well, which ended up here. Um, I keep a lot of pencils in different weights and also in different colors and different from different locations because I try to collect as many pencils as I can. So one of my favorite items on my workspace is this Abbey Road because I got this from London and this is actually why I renamed my nickname to Abby, Abbey. Um, it used to be ABI but I said, you know, I wanted to put an E. Why not put an E? So that's why my name is Abby. This is my laptop. 
which is highly vandalized and this is actually my favorite it says overtime which is something i do a lot so my laptop is basically my work life in a tangible form because i do a lot of my work here mostly for research anything administrative i do it here i also store my photos here i bring this everywhere I bring it every time I travel. I only don't bring it if I need to be on vacation. Need. This is my craft organizer on the table. So I got this from National Bookstore. Um, I have a lot of like loose stickers, stamp, or sticky notes, and clips and scissors and this is where I put all of them. I used to have them in different containers but I guess it's easier to put everything here because I get to see them and if ever I need to do quick journaling or quick uh, updates on my journals and planners I can just get here and craft away. So this area of the table is something I rarely use because it's either empty or full of paper like right now it's almost full. So this is my deadline pile currently working on a workbook so this is my like work in progress notebook and yeah you have a lot of paper reference material they're all here because eventually I'm gonna transfer them to my uh, portfolio actually my magazine is also here so this is ABC magazine it's also ABC um, it's also published by Summit Books so. this is my reference corner aka where most of my references are for book writing especially for instructional books for lettering books and also where my lettering pads are and watercolor pads so that ends our room tour i hope you enjoyed checking out how my workspace looks how i work around it and i hope you get inspired to do your own if you like this video don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below, give a thumbs up, show some love, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!